In this video, we will discuss how to enable the video queued assessment type, where questions will populate at specified times while students are watching a video. First, go to the assessment. Click on the gear icon of the assignment. Click on settings. Scroll down. Change the display style by clicking on the drop down menu and selecting video queued. Scroll down to the bottom of the assignment and click save changes. Next, go into the assignment by clicking on the gear option and clicking on questions. Notice here on the left hand side of the screen, there is an icon that says define video cues. Please note that for any question that exists in the assignment, there will need to be a specified time break for a video queue. In this assignment that we have displayed, there will need to at least be three time breaks in the video that's selected, given that there are three questions. Click on define video queues. Notice here on this row item, that it is requesting to display an existing YouTube video. You have the option to pull in an existing YouTube video or create your own video and have the questions populate at the specified time breaks. In order to use the video queued assessment type, please be sure to have your video preloaded into a YouTube video in order for it to work. We will now add a YouTube video link to showcase what will display after you paste the link and click load video. Once you click load video, you'll notice the video will populate on the right hand side. And below you have breakpoints where you can add the different displays. For the three questions, for display purposes, I'm going to add question breaks, question one example, question two example, question three example. I will set the first break at the 10 second mark, second break at the 20 second mark, and third break at the 30 second mark. When I'm done, click on submit. Now click done. We'll now take a look at the video from a student point of view. Click on the assignment. Click start. Notice the question one example showed up right here. The segment breaks will populate with the naming convention that you provided and the video will populate at the given time breaks that you've selected. We'll now showcase a brief example to highlight that the first question will populate at the 10 second mark. Notice that the question immediately populated. A student can provide an answer to the question submit, and then move on to the next question. If students have questions or need to review back on the previous slide, they can always go back and click on the drop down menu and click on the video reference. However, please note that as the videos move forward at the specified time breaks, the questions will immediately populate unless they click on this drop down area and select the question or video to refer back. This has been a video referencing how to enable the video queued assessment type.